Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to share my thoughts on the Flash Forge Adventurer 5M Pro, a printer that promises speed, quality, and ease of use right out of the box. So let's dive in. One of the things that I've loved about the 5M Pro is that it comes mostly assembled. In fact, within 10 minutes of unboxing this printer, I was already starting my first print. It's basically a plug and play machine, which makes it super beginner friendly. And my very first print with this printer was a benchy. And oh boy, I was not prepared to see what I was about to see. Ladies and gentlemen, this footage is not sped up. The printer is just going crazy like that. Now let's talk about one of the key selling points of this printer, the speed. Flash Forge promises faster print times while maintaining that high quality finish that we all want. And from my experience, they delivered. Whether it was printing larger models or small detail pieces, the print speed was impressive. But what's more impressive is that the quality didn't suffer. Just crisp, clean prints. And just like that, in 14 short minutes, the printer created this. And look at this, the surface is pretty clean. A little stringing, but it's easy to clean this up. Filament is beautiful. 14 minutes, guys. The age of fast printing is here. Now, if you look inside this printer here, you will notice a fan. This is a game changer if you're printing with ABS because it can emit pretty harsh fumes. The Adventurer 5M Pro comes with a high efficiency filter that cuts down on odor and harmful particles, keeping the air around you much cleaner. It's a small feature, but one that makes a big difference, especially if you're like me and working in a small space. It just gives you that extra peace of mind while you're printing for hours on end. And speaking about peace of mind, let's talk about auto bed leveling. I cannot stress enough how much time this saves, especially if you have struggled with manual leveling in the past. With this printer, you just hit a button and it does the rest. You get a perfectly leveled bed every time, which means more consistent prints with fewer errors. Another great thing about this printer is its Wi-Fi capabilities. The printer features Wi-Fi connection, which makes it a breeze to print from anywhere in your house. If you print as often as I do, then plugging and unplugging a USB stick gets really tiring really quickly. But with this printer, you just hit send and print. It's that easy. Plus the printer has a camera, which allows you to check on your print remotely, which is a great plus. And speaking of pluses, another great feature about this printer is that it's very easy to swap between nozzles. Now, you can see this is loading finish. Let's just press again, this is loading. It's gonna start pushing filament, as you can see here. Because we wanna clean the nozzle before we can pull it out. Wait for this to cool off before we add the new nozzle. So right now, it's 55 degrees, cool to the touch. Okay, so it's safe, but well, we're gonna unplug this just to be super safe. So let's turn off the printer. But we also unplug it just to be super safe. So I'm holding the red buttons here and then just pull it down. It comes off that easily. Now we're gonna put 0.6 millimeter nozzle that came with the printer. Okay, so same thing. Find it, try to align it. As you find it, put up there really good. And it's in place. That's that easy. Enter back on. Turn it on. Change the settings in the slicer to make sure you have a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. It's that easy. Back in my day, you had to heat up the printer, unscrew the nozzle, and then put in a new nozzle and screw it on while the printer is hot. Kind of dangerous, not good, not safe. But with this printer, you don't need to screw or unscrew anything. You can just change your nozzles really quickly and just remember to change the settings in your slicer. So let's check some of the prints I've done. If you're already subscribed to my channel, you've probably seen some of these. I've done a wooden Groot and printing with wood using this printer is very easy. The nozzle didn't clog at all. I did two collapsing swords. One of them is this rainbow colored one. Really beautiful. The other is a wooden one, because why not? 
Inside the printer here, I have this beautiful Godzilla and he printed really fast and it's full of detail. The Doug Trio has perfect surface. The Mandalorian is so big and so nice. I mean, this printer just keeps going and going and going. Now for the downsides. Now, if you're a tinkerer and you like messing with your printer, I don't know how good this printer is for you. I'm sure there are kits out there that are gonna be much better for you. So if you're into messing with your printer, this might not be the one for you. Another downside is that the print volume is kind of small. So if you like really large 3D printers, this might not be for you. Another downside probably is that there's not a huge community behind this printer. There are many printers out there who have more people and a huge bigger community behind it. So it's easier to find solutions to certain problems. If you're having any problems, you can email them directly, which I have done. I was having problems with some surface issues and Flashforge was super helpful. And I'm sure if you need anything from them, they'll be quick to answer. So if you're looking for a printer that is mostly assembled, easy to use, and it prints fast, this printer might just be for you. So that's about it for today. If you have any other questions about the Adventure 5M Pro, please drop in a comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more 3D printing videos. And until next time, happy printing.